hello my good people i hope you all are doing great from your respective classes welcome back again and again and join our family which is sussex squad forever and if you are new here can you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family sussex squad forever here here to stay it's a high time we begin to now start questioning the relevance of the monarch it's that time it's that time whereby we don't have to you know sitting silence it's like there are people who are really really kind of you know whatever they are doing makes us have a lot of questions and be like okay so what next because it's that time that time to start questioning the relevance of the monarchy whatever things they do make us just have all the reasons to just see how incompetent irrelevant they are and the time i'll stop speaking about the awful royal family and the british media it's when they'll start practicing decency that time when they'll start practicing decency instead of being hypocritical and abusive at the same time it's that time whereby they come out clean and just, I wish if they had things called manifestation, what do they manifest? What do they have for people? What are they planning to do? Such things would have worked so well, but I don't literally just understand how the UK government, the UK ruling institution, the royal family at large, how do they work? How do they operate? I don't know how. But they just need to understand it's becoming very, very much hilarious. And the royal family has just, their image is just kind of thrown into the gutters at this particular juncture. Because of the things they're doing. Basically, you might be questioning yourself, why am I speaking this? And what am I speaking about? I'm speaking about the portrait that cost £8 million. Pounds. Like, that's what is uh, out here. As much as it's not, no even UK media outlet is speaking about it. But those people who are so much devastated with this particular incident are out here addressing it. Yesterday I did a story. It's really, really nonsensical. Because it's really a waste. Eight million pound. Just sit down and imagine how many students would have been paid school fees with that. How many homeless people would have gotten homes with that. Even if Charles was truly in his, uh, you know, mindset, like, strong enough, he would have even then invested that particular money in his charities to support the less privilege. But what did he decide to do? After all, it's not his money. So he doesn't feel a thing. He doesn't feel any pain having that money just gotten spent like that. There has been this question going around. People are out here speaking of how, you know, this is just nonsense. Somebody tweeted, oh, great, another official portrait of Charles to be hanged in buildings across the UK. Meanwhile, we have an £8 million government funded scheme for this nonsense. How about investing that money in something actually beneficial to the society? It's that time we start questioning or we start questioning the relevance of the monarchy. Because from my own perspective, I'm just kind of joining hands with people who are like, you know what, abolish the monarchy. Because this is just beyond imagination. Just think of how many people live in poverty right now could have just been helped with that particular eight million pound that has just been wasted on this picture of a man just sitting down and trying to reflect it's really really ridiculous it's very ridiculous just watching the whole farmer not working by expectations it's really really hilarious just watching people doing things at their own pace because at the end of it all i know they're just seated at the comfort zone and they're like you know what we're the ruling people so no one can do a damn thing about anything maybe that's where their so click is but you know what they're just becoming a nuisance it's really really irritating at this particular juncture 
it really is a waste of money and this tells you we just go back to that statement over they're not qualified to be leaders and if it's this child's doing this what better should we expect from william maybe william might double that prize and want a 16 million pound portrait of himself god this is just beyond imagination the portrait itself as uh, angela levin spoke you know it explains or speaks volume of how you know charles looks vulnerable and very sad because i doubt if he has any reasons to be happy i doubt if he has any reasons to smile at a portrait the british people it's a high time they wake up from the slumber because this is just beyond any explanation i don't know if we are the ones like feeling this and they are feeling nothing or they are feeling something but it's just that they don't know what to do about it or how to go about it but this is just beyond it really is a waste this shows of how they don't deserve to be in office and that the reasons as to why they are there they are there for their own personal gains and that's why they are selfish day in day out wanting to do things that benefit them but don't consider what goes on around their country and for those countries that are out here also kind of you know no longer wanting to be ruled by the so-called thing commonwealth i bet they're also doing the right thing because the monarch is not worth it at all it really isn't after everything they did and the fact that they are still in that position and still doing nothing about it from my own perspective they really really don't deserve to be in office that's my tech at the same time also we aren't supposed to be shocked or surprised with what is going on at the moment because i believe it has been stated ever since the queen passed away that you know what this monarchy just died immediately and that's why day in day out things are just fading one after the other because people are no longer paying attention people no longer care what goes on within that particular institution people are no longer moved because they believe it doesn't deserve a chance at all they've just proven how incompetent they are how self-centered they are and that they don't even know what their purpose in that particular institution is rather than them wanting to benefit themselves and their generations harry and megan did the best thing ever living and just excluding themselves from this particular toxic family because they would have done better than this but either way it's up to them they are the ones on the throne and there's nothing can be done about it i don't know what's your take on this kindly just leave your comments and thoughts down below that was our today's video hoping to see you guys in one next have a lovely time